Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about frequency distribution of group data. So, I will share my screen with you. So, it's considered the frequency distribution. There are several groups. And the groups, the, for example, the first group is between 35.5 and 40.5. Corresponding frequency is 8. The next class is from 40.5 to 45.5. Corresponding frequency is 12. The third class is from 45.5 to 50.5. Frequency is 25 and so forth. So the question, there, uh, there's only one question. Which of the following statement is true? Mode is 60.5. A, B, the distribution is positively skewed. C, the median value is between 60.5 and 60.5. So we need to solve this problem. So the first thing we will do is get the class width. The class width is equal to lower class limit of second class minus lower class limit of the first class of first class. Okay. So the lower class limit of the second class is equal to 40.5 and the lower class limit of the first class is 30.5. So 40.5 minus 30.5 is 5. Okay, so we fix that. Okay, uh, now we will also calculate the class midpoint. So in this group data, you always have to calculate the class middle or mid point ET midpoint okay class midpoint of each class so let's do it for the first class first class and that is equal to 35.5 plus 40.5 lower class limit of the first class plus lower class limit of the second class divided by 2 and that is equal to 76, okay, by 2 is equal to 38, okay. Let me create some more space for you. So, let's do the next lower class, uh, middle point. So, class, uh, next calculation is for the class midpoint of the second class of the second class, second class. And that is equal to uh, 40.5 plus 45.5 divided by two. So it is equal to uh, 86 over two, which is equal to 43. Notice the difference in class widths, a uh, difference in class midpoints, class midpoints from between second and first class, between second and first class. is equal to, 43, which is the midpoint of the second class, minus the midpoint of the first class, 38 is equal to 5, which is equal to class width. So each of the midpoints differ from the previous one by the class width, which is 5. So with this information, we can, see if I bring this down a little bit, I will can, can make another table of the 
or put a new column in this table, which is the class midpoint. Class midpoint. And the first class midpoint we calculated is 38. Next one, 38 plus 5 is 43. Next one is 48. Next one is 53. Next one is 58. Everything is differing by 5, which is the class width. Next one is 63. So this one will be 63. The next one will be 63 plus 5, 68. Next one, 68 plus 5 is 73. And 73 plus 5 is 78 is the midpoint of the first class. Now we want to find, find the mean, median of group data. Easy way to do that with TI-84. Enter midpoint, midpoint data in L1. List one of the calculator and corresponding frequency in L2. Frequency data in L2. How do I do that? The first step is to clear the memory of the calculator. So second, then press the plus button, which is on top of enter button on the bottom right. Second bottom is on the top left, then press the plus button, which is on top of the enter button on the bottom right. Then select number four, number four. Okay, so move the thing to the Okay, and uh, we will get clear all lists on our calculator screen. Okay, hit enter, and you will get done. That means Memories done. But that means this step, this step clears the memory, clears the memory of memories of TI-84. Now enter midpoints, midpoints in L1 and frequency in L2, in L2, okay? So let's do that. So first I press the second button, then the plus button on top of enter, which is on the bottom right, then number four, which puts clear all this on my calculator screen, I hit enter and it says done. Now I'm ready to enter data. How do I do that? So press the stat button. Then number one. Okay. And enter data in L1 and L2. Enter data first in L1. Enter data in L1. So remember L1 is this one and frequency is L2. Okay, so let's start in L1. Cursor should be sitting on the first line in L1, 38, then 43, then 48, then 53, then 58, then 63, then 68, then 73, and the last midpoint is 78. Now press the right cursor key. So I'll write it here. Press this key to go to first line in L2. In L2. Okay. And then enter the frequency. 
okay and then enter data in l2 enter data in l2 okay so frequency data so 8 12 25 40 45 60 46 12 and the last frequency is 2 okay okay so we have entered the data in l1 and l2 now we are ready to calculate and i will show it now how to do so let me go back to my pen and i change the color of the pen to let's do it in dark blue so after after entering data entering data entering midpoint data in l1 and frequency in l2 in l2 what do we do okay let's create some more space okay now we are going to press the stat button then with the right cursor key highlight calc on the top row stat then highlight calc on the top row then select number one so we will see one where stats on our calculator screen our first line is list is always l1 the second line is frequency list remember i put the frequency data in l2 right now it is m2 so i have to make it l2 how do i do that i press the second button and then the two number two second and two okay to make it l2 second button and then two okay and then i bring the scroll down bring the cursor on calculate and hit enter enter okay okay and what do i observe let's create some more space okay we get the mean so let me write in a different color now the mean x bar is mean is equal to 58.76 and if i keep scrolling down with the down arrow key scroll down with the down arrow key with the down arrow key okay and i get the median med is equal to the median median is equal to 58 so let's look uh, look at the statements that were given to us okay so let me move up here mode is 60.5 there's no indication of that the distribution is positively skewed mean has to be greater than the median and that is true okay so we can write here mean is greater than median okay so the, well that means what that means the distribution is positively skewed is positively skewed so this is answer is b answer correct answer is b 
as in ball. So what does B states again? Let's take a look. B says the distribution is positively skewed. And the median value is definitely not between 60.5 and 65.5. Actually, median is 58. Here, the mean is greater than the median. So the distribution is positively skewed. Okay. Uh, because the large numbers are pulling the mean towards them. So more large numbers. So I will stop here today. If there are more large numbers, there's a skew on the right, tail on the right of the distribution. So it's positively skewed. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible after I read your note. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And please give me a thumbs up if you have liked this video. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.